So, Paul Joseph Watson did this um, as a Sky News correspondent, uh, Martin Brunt, who came out and said that basically anybody who gets caught to do with this, these protests, um, anybody caught posting on social media or whatever, when you go guilty or innocent, you're going to go to, uh, to be remanded at least, is what they're saying. You're not going to get actual justice at all anyway, right? Now, bearing in mind that people who have uh, been involved in pedophilia have gotten bail and not gone to prison because the prisons are overcrowded, but they're going to send the likes of you and me there because of what we've posted, the truth, on social media. So he's also reiterated that what could happen to you, he said, the, the, basically the Muslim gangs will give you a cold response because you're right wing. As if that's a bad thing, being right wing. As if at the moment, it's like the, the, the left are so utterly bitter, twisted and hateful but what they actually want to do is anybody who goes against them, stick them in the neck and let the Asian crime gang deal with it. Now, the same people that would tell you that if you think that uh, Muslims uh, are involved in criminality, Muslims are involved in pedophilia, M Muslims are all rape gangs, Muslims are involved in anything like that. If you said that, they would call you a bigot and a racist. But now, when it suits them, what they're actually saying is these thugged criminal gangs of an Islamic nature within the Nick, that run the Nick, by the way, who are making people convert to Islam on fear of, well, up to death, is saying that basically these people, we will make sure we put them, you in with somebody, they'll get hold of you and they'll work you over, right? And you, the price you're going to pay won't just be going to court, the price you might pay will be with your life. And that is fear-mongering and threatening anybody who wants to tell the truth about what's going on, that if you open your fucking gob, we will make sure that you land your ass in Nick and we'll let the Asian crime gangs do the rest. That's pretty much what he's saying. And as Paul Jason Watson said, nobody has questioned it at all. Nothing. Not a problem with that. What does that fucking tell you? He's right about this. I mean, we've already, we already know now that the police work to back up the political system. They are they run in team with them. So the political um, movement goes in one direction and the police make sure that they stop anybody speaking out against the direction of where we're going, which is not a good place. The police now come after, normally, right, the innocent or the people that are just telling the truth and they leave alone the wrongings, the, the, the thugs and also Islam because they're shit scared of it, right? Now, it's fairly safe to say that if somebody like me went into prison, then it would be very quickly put around that that guy is a right-wing commentator, do what you want got to do to him, right? And they'd try and make me convert, to which I'd say I'd rather fucking die. And they'd be like, fine, get your wish. And then I'd be end up being, I don't know, a right-wing martyr, I suppose. Probably not, actually. But you get the idea. Um, I've known some very hard people go to prison and convert for their safety, all right? So, physically hard, yes. Mentally hard, no. There is. So that's what you've got. This is the social media, not social media, this is the news, basically threatening anybody with any sort of gumption to want to come out and talk about what's going on. You dare do this, and we'll make sure that we put you in with people who hate you to do what they want to do to you. That's how it's got to be, right? Um, this is this is as bad as it gets, by the way. But it isn't because it'll get worse. But this is as bad as you could possibly imagine it. But like I say, it will get worse. Some of you may notice that the surroundings are somewhat different in a new job. And I'm actually out in the tools and working, which is why I'm covered in mud. All the way up my arms and down here and stuff like that. But I need the exercise because I'm fat bastard. So there you go. Anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always interested. Um, if I get the chance this weekend, I will try and do maybe a stream. But uh, it's a long weekend, so what day I'll do it on, I don't know. Um, and we'll get your call in and see, see what you think. Anyway, I'd best get off, because I'm about to go into a quarry that I've never been in, and uh, so I better have your wits about me. See you in a bit.